ICT is increasingly playing a greater role in government with the creation of e-services to optimize service delivery. But South Africa still has a long way to go. Thomas Murray spoke with the State Information Technology Agency to check the progress of South Africa's e-government initiatives. Uh, the key initiatives there is driven by ICASA. They are doing work in, in terms of uh, unbundling the, 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 the loop and in the process of an unbundling will open more channels and opening more channels will help drive the price down. Another initiative is to work on the private-public partnerships because that is where government and the private sector can work together to bring the different skills because government has got uh, what they need to be done and the private sector have got the know-how on how to do it and then they can accelerate that because that will also help drive the regulatory process because with the private partnerships they will be able to work on a deal that will be a win-win between the government and the private sector and that is what will help drive the price down. So you told me that there is no ICT government department. It, that seems to be, having spoken with CETA yesterday, they told me that there's a need for a more sort of consolidated effort, that at the moment we're working in silos, everyone in their own department, and we need more consolidation. Are we going to see a formation of an ICT department to bring everyone under the same umbrella? Um, currently, the answer is, there is what is called state IT agents, whose primary role is more on the procurement and supply of the services. When you say ICT government, in, in other words, there, there is a need, which uh, another discussion we had, of coordinating all of this under one umbrella so that we know what is the whole vision for ICT in government. CETA being part of it, the government department being also part of the whole uh, infrastructure. So what work is, is the government doing with ECASA to improve South Africa's regulatory framework in, in terms of promoting sort of access to the market, to reduce price? We have seen uh, prices being phased down. Can you give us more detail there? Uh, more detail are with ECASA there, but based on what I have heard from the conference yesterday and today, is that they are working, they do recognize that uh, the speed of regulatory framework is an obstacle and they are working on it to, in order to, re to, to accelerate the, the, the regulation. And would you say that South Africa's current regulatory framework is conducive to attracting investment into ICT in the country? Um, I think for me the, the most important thing is not necessarily the regulatory framework but the will to, to do work that is going to contribute to the build-up of ICT infrastructure. In that case, I say that the, the government has put up the will to do that because currently there's $3.1 trillion that has been set aside for infrastructure as a whole, which is the, the 17 projects that are part of the Presidential Infrastructure Coordination Commission. So the will by the government is there, and I believe that with that will is going to bring uh, cast, uh, s suppliers to come to, to uh, investment into South Africa. And what for you are the biggest issues with South Africa's regulatory framework and where are the bottlenecks showing? Um, I'll speak from, for me as uh, somebody who's lived in another part of, I've lived in the US for a while. And one thing that ha has happened there that is not happening here, which might happen later, was the whole idea of uh, the 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 the, the 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 framework the legal framework was to open up uh, the opportunity for other businesses including small businesses so the big companies had to be broken down into small businesses to be able to uh, capture the, the market by different uh, have the market been supplied by more than one big company is there any hope that we'll see that in south africa uh, i believe we will i mean currently We've got, we've got the three major ones. Uh, we've got Telcom, and then the, the wireless one, Vodacom, MCN, Telcom, I mean, uh, MTN. And I believe that we'll see more of them as, because the, the pie is bigger. And as the pie is bigger, in, many people will have to have the slice of the pie. And will we see policy following the same direction to really open up access to the market? I, I believe that's going to happen. I think one of the things that uh, we, 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 we are in in this, in this age now is that some of the things are not necessarily driven 
from the policy to the user. They are driven from the user influence in the policy. And that is where I see currently there's 4.6 million F Facebook users. And that 10% of the population. And those people are actually driving what they need. Some, some of the things they need government has not even thought of.